It's your boy James, Mr. Stop Being Dirty, Stop Eating Dirty. Subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Link to the fit. Oh God. The, ain't that the worst? Like you just have to burp in your mask. You gotta you gotta breathe in your mask, morning breath in your mask. So speaking of the mask, link in the bio, copy one. Summer sadness. Cause there was some upsets last week. There was some real there, there was some there was some real upsets. People went home and cried in the car. People went in the home and yelled at Jesus. People went home and beat their women. Listen, all kidding aside, we have a new week. We have a new bracket. We have new opponents. Let's start here. Bill Collector versus Mike P. I'm gonna keep it right direct. I would have went with Mike P on this battle if what he was going through and the way he's handling it wouldn't be happening. But I really, from what I am seeing, am, I'm consuming that this is really affecting Mike P. And when you have things outside of focusing on your rounds affecting you, it is not good. When you, when you go into the building and not, it's like you could prepare for something, but also end up not being prepared for it because you don't know how it's going to feel until you're actually in that situation. So he's going to have to relive it. He's going to have to re-listen to it. He's going to have to hear an angle on it. And he had no time in between to... Um, yo, she smiled at me crazy. Get me out of tickets. Um, he, had no, he had no time to... Basically, he's right into it. Two weeks later, after going through this, I'm still arguing with it in his house every day. And I just feel like those amount of distractions in your life taken away from, from, from your focus could be really bad. So I'm going Bill Collector 2-1. Holmesy the God versus Emerson Kennedy. I mean, salute to Holmesy the God and Mr. Wavy. Two breakout performances. They both were incredible. I did not expect that from Holmesy especially. And Mr. Wavy was on 10 as well. Holmesy the God versus Emerson Kennedy. I have to... I said that Emerson Kennedy could win this whole thing if he's able to get his material out in the time frame. He showed and proved that he is able to do that. And the fact that he's just so dangerous. Now, Holmesy was great. But I feel like every... Now, this is battle rap. You're supposed to direct your bars at your opponent. But I do feel like Saga's kind of an open book. Between the Mike P battle and then the religion the religion angle, it's so easy to kind of get at him. You know, the black guy versus uh, the white guy. He, you know, he turned that on him with the Mike P. And it, it, it's so easy to do that and, and manipulate, like, the mind to really be like, holy... And I don't feel like he has those open, big angles to go at Emerson Kennedy with. I don't see it. Like, that now he's going to have to bar him out, which he's a great person with bars. But I just think Emerson Kennedy's level of writing is too advanced for him. I'm going to go with Emerson Kennedy 2-1. But if Holmesy the God does win this battle, I won't be surprised. And I will salute him because I would love to see him do great. Mr. Wavy versus Nun Nun. Now, these two people... Again, Mr. Wavy, Holmesy the God, and Nun Nun, like, they... It was like underdog week. And then, then you even with Ryder, like, it, it, it's just crazy. Like, Nun Nun and, and... See, this is what it comes down to. Mr. Wavy showed that he can be... He can be aggressive, aggressive, direct, and still have great performance with no crowd, which, which is something I didn't think he was going to be able to do. Now, Nun Nun completely surprised none none's a better writer mr wave is a better performer none none ha if none none stays focused and is barking on mr wavy like he was doing low so this could be this is a tough one to call this is a tough one i feel like the bill collector and mike p battle and this battle are the toughest ones to call i'm literally rolling the dice taking bill collector over mike p and i'm gonna roll the dice again and even though you my man 100 grand salute to mr wavy and his positivity and his channel i love everything he does but I'm going to have to go with Nun Nun on this one. I think Nun Nun just has more to offer with his pen. They're both aggressive with it. Uh, and Nun Nun seems to have to have, like, he really stole the crowd's heart, the fans' heart. And that's big coming into it. Uh, I think Mr. Wavy was incredible. But Mr. Wavy in two weeks, I'm not sure it's going to be a better performer or, or a better writer than Nun Nun. I'm going to go Nun Nun 2-1. Danny Myers, my choice to win the whole thing. I'll start with this. I have him 2-1 over Tink. No disrespect to Tink, but I would have Danny taking it 3-0. But 
Tink has that element of surprise where he doesn't rap like no one. He could steal around. But Danny Myers is incredible. He dirty Reaper. Y'all gave Reaper a round. Cool. You know, y'all gave him a round. He choked in. Like, you know, the judges, again, being dirty. You know, y'all y'all need to stop. Honestly, do yourself a favor. Stop focusing on smoking and drinking so much and fucking focus. Just saying. Um, Danny Myers is just the general bar god. He probably has rounds already done and ready for through the finals. You know what I'm saying? Tink is still knocking off ring rust. He looked, uh, he was doing it during franchise battle. A lot of people give franchise that battle, saying he got, listen, you ain't gonna have no close call with Danny. You need to be prepared home for a little longer than you've been, knock the ring rust off. If this battle's taking place two months from now, it'll be a closer outcome. I feel like Danny's gonna take this 2-1 clear. So my choices will be Bill Collector, Danny Myers, Nun Nun, and Emerson Kennedy. Subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you, do you understand the points I'm making? Do you hate them? Either way, stop being dirty. Stop eating dirty. Link in the bio for the face mask. And uh, listen, man, above all, protect your peace. Uh, salute to everyone who made it to this competition. It's a great opportunity for you with the caffeine. Win or lose, your name's getting out there. Your stock is rising. Even rider stock has risen in a loss. So don't get discouraged. At the end of the day, you've been given a great opportunity. Take advantage of it. And at all costs, protect your peace. And most of all, 